everyone, it's Charlton. Uh, there was a shooting at a church, a Mormon church in uh, in Nevada, in Fallon, Nevada, which is um, east of uh, Reno. Uh, Reno is right there, and I believe it's right in that area. So uh, the shooter has been uh, taken into custody, and uh, one person one person has died, and another person was injured. Um, you know, reportedly this happened around one o'clock. The uh, the suspect was at mass. I think he left and then came back, or at service. It's a Latter Day Saints uh, uh, church, and um, it seems as though he targeted this individual or the two individuals, and I believe they're both males. And um, uh, the one of them uh, has has subsequently died. I don't think he was dead on the scene immediately. I don't know if he died in the hospital or what. And the other one was shot in the leg leg with, uh, and is going to be okay with life, uh, non life threatening injuries. So over here, and that is a picture of the church that I started out with there. And he must live fairly close by because according to the New York post, which I think was taking it from Fox, he left the building and then walked home. And then the police called his home because they, I think all the people in the service knew his identity and asked him to surrender. And he did, you know, so we still don't know motive why, but according to the first press conference they gave, which I didn't see actually, I just saw the reporting of it. Um, you know, they don't know his motive, but they don't believe he was targeting the church, that he was targeting specifically these individuals or this individual, the person that was killed or the, or the both of them, don't know. So, um, you know, uh, cops later called his house and, and asked him to surrender, which he did according to reports. It's too early to understand the motive, Fallon Police Chief Kevin Gaiman said. The wounded person suffered a leg injury. Our hearts go out to the family members, deeply saddened of the act of senseless, senseless violence. And uh, up here is a picture of, uh, I, don't, I think that's the church from a different angle. You know, I mean, I think that's just a portion of it. But it also has a, a, a crime scene of his house, um, uh, you know, taped off. So, and I, I try to find that on Google Maps. That's just the parking to the, uh, that's, that's the, I believe the shooter's house or the suspect's house. The alleged suspect's house in ta uh, is taped off Sunday after shooting at the Fallon Church of Jesus Christ uh, of Latter-day Saints. Left two injured. The one, one of those two injured has subsequently, um, um, you know, uh, died. So... Uh, this this service was at one o'clock. I think they're going to be giving another press conference, and just right now, actually at eight o'clock, it's U uh, time. Time is two hours behind the S, uh, East Coast. But in this article here, it says one man is dead, another is wounded after the victim was uh, the victim was targeted by by a shooter during a sacrament meeting Tuesday at LDS Meeting House in Fallon, Nevada. The alleged shooter. Uh, and the shooter, they have identified him. His name is John K. O'Connor, uh, 48 years old, entered the chapel after the sacrament had been passed. And as the first speaker was beginning a talk and shot the victim at close range, according to found police and witnesses. So I don't know if that victim is the speaker or if it was still just somebody sitting in the congregation. I don't understand a Mormon service, you know, exactly. I mean, it sounds like... Uh, that it's a little different than just a regular Christian service, but I really don't know. All three men are members of the Fallon Third Ward, which was meeting at the Fallon South Stake Center, 750 West which Richard Street, which is what uh, this is here. So one has been killed. He had a medium caliber handgun, uh, to the best of my knowledge. One was killed, one was shot in the leg. Um, and, we, and supposedly the, the uh, chief of police had said that the victims have, had been identified in social media, but he wasn't ready to do that until he notified, you know, next to kin. But um, I was not able to uh, find any of that on social media. I assume that somewhere in the comments, people are, you know, people are familiar with the area. They knew who was, who was killed. And I tried to find it just to get the nature of a motive, but I was not able to, to find that out. So there is a, a mugshot of the suspected gunman, the suspected individual, uh, John K. O'Connor in the Fallon Church shooting, 48 years old. That's his, that's his actual mugshot. 
And uh, that's brand new. This is just on the Twitter feed. When you go to the article, it doesn't even show that on the updated version yet, which I'm sure it'll be included shortly. But while I was, and I actually stopped my upload so that I could include that um, in my in my video. But while I was here, I also saw in this Nevada uh, article, local article, says it gave a pretty good description of what happened. So, and I think this is according to the chief of police, Gaiman O'Connor, who apparently was attending the service prior to the shooting, left the building on foot and returned to his home. Gaiman said officers surrounded O'Connor's home and after a hostage negotiator placed several phone calls, O'Connor agreed to leave the house. Fallon Mayor T uh, Ken Tedford said the gunman, who lives close to the church, entered from the back of the church and shot the two in front of, uh, in front of congrega congregation members. Our hearts go out to family members of those who lost someone, etc. So uh, we still don't know anything on motive on why he targeted or seemingly targeted this these two individuals. And um, you know there was a press conference at eight o'clock, which was about a half hour ago, two hours. You know they're two hours behind Philadelphia time. But and they're going to place in a, do another press conference tomorrow. I don't think we're going to learn a whole lot more tonight. Uh, I'm not real sure that I, the senator, uh, Dean Heller, actually tweeted about this because, you know, it's a shooting, a church shooting, you know. Um, so he weighed in as well, um, saying deeply saddened by the act of senseless violence and Fallon today at the LDS church. We're in contact with Mayor Tedford and other officials, my family and our I are praying for all loved ones, churchgoers, and community members impacted by this tragedy. Hey, and that's the uh, that's the end of this video for now. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.